<laughs> I had to play the Star Spangled Banner, you heard? <laughs> yo, what's up? Hey, yo. No, salute, man. Salute, man. Salute, man. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You already know the vibes, man. Yo, um, first and foremost, man, it's been a long week. I haven't really been doing that. I haven't been spending a lot of money on, you know, things, things of that nature in the household. I want to show you something I got for the queen. Me. I prefer, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about my living conditions. My living conditions is a minimum. And sometimes I do overextend my living conditions and my money. You know, this is this priority, but I have to show you what I got. You know, I got a pair of Fendi glasses, $500 Fendi glasses for my wife for a birthday. Prior to that, her birthday originally was yesterday, so... I bought her a eight hundred dollar mirror, so I got to show you it. Check this out. Me personally, I was pissed. I ain't tell you right now. I don't like it. I ain't like it. I got broke doing this shit, you heard? But I did it. But I was mad because I I don't you know I could have went to Walmart or Lowe's. It got a mirror to say, just mirror, just look me up. I just want to see a head to toe. That's it. All I, all we asked for a mirror, head to toe. But she wanted a special mirror. You heard? I wanted a head to toe mirror. I don't give a fuck what it was. I could have went to a second hand store and got it, but she wanted this special mirror. So I'm going to show y'all this special fucking mirror. You heard? I swear if this shit ever break, I'm leaving her. I'm dead serious. Do you understand this shit? This shit don't even look like it belong in this little ass apartment. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't look like it belong in here. This shit looks, this shit looks too fascinating. Girl. Have you ever seen a mirror that controlled by the light? Now, look at this shit. You gotta look at this shit, you heard? <sighs> she wanted because it matches this. It matches that. It matches this. And here's the mirror. It matches that. You see that little blue light right there? You see that little blue light right there? Watch what the blue light do. Watch this. Turns the lights out. 800 fucking dollars for this fucking mirror. You heard? KK went bankrupt. See? Turns on. Turns off. Turns off. Turns on. Turns off. Man, fuck all this shit. I don't want no fucking mirror to turn off and on on me. How the fuck am I going to turn off and on? Yo, this is crazy. It's crazy, you heard? Watch out pawn this shit as soon as I get broke, you heard? This shit out of here, you heard? <laughs> Let me fuck out of here. I want a fucking $800 mirror. What the fuck is wrong with her? She better hope. She better pray and hope, you hear me? All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the nitty gritty. Um, yo, uh, basically I've been feeding my brain. You know, I've been doing a lot of other things. Yeah, I got a gray hair all around here. I've been feeding my brain lately, reading a lot of books. I've been reading my new book. One of my friends just, um, one of my homies wrote a book called Convicted at Birth, right? I'm gonna let you know the details. His name is Kool-Aid, you know. Um, it's based on a true story from the life of Kool-Aid through the pen of Malik. His, you know, his name is Malik now. You know, he's a changed brother, he's Muslim. And it says, trust no one and suspect everyone. It's just a jewel. Um, I just started, I just got a couple of copies today. Um, I haven't read it yet. But I'm assuming it's going to be a lot of a lot of info in there. Well, if it's written in the book, it's written, you know, I, I can say one thing that um, um, just for, he's supposed to have been home. Um, he's supposed to have been home in um, in April. Unfortunately, a homicide came up on him. Someone told him. A homicide came up on him. 
And um, from a known, another known, you know, another known, you know, killer and killers, you know, told on him about an incident that happened in the 80s. And, you know, I'm not going to say no names, none of that yet. You know, even though they, they ratted, he ratted on, 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 on son. I'm still not going to put the names out there. You know, it's just like it's an underworld going on with this with this type of name. But make a long story short, he just got picked up from Comstock and went to the feds for some bodies he, you know, supposedly we have done that they lying on him about. See, the one thing I be trying to, you know, I got, I got, I got on, I got on a, I got on a um, Angie Martinez show back in two thousand something four or five. And I was, I've been reiterated about, you know, we calling people rats and you got to, it, 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 it doesn't fit the criteria. I mean, someone may have told on you or say things of that nature, but, you know, in the court of law, you, you don't want to go around saying these dudes is a rat. You want to go around saying these dudes is lying because saying something rat gives them relevance, gives them weight. Somebody ratted on you is weight. Now, if it's something like minor, like, you know, a little YouTube shit, you call a nigga rat all day, you can't get him convicted. You know, like these little dudes, you know, put your name in accusations or paperwork, whatever that case may be. Yo, you know, you know, KK did this or somebody did that, boom, boom, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's you know, you can say rat all day, you ain't going to jail for that shit <laughs> for calling a nigga rat, but it's still, it don't hold no type of weight. It don't hold no type of weight. You know what I'm saying? It don't hold no type of weight when you, you know what I'm saying? When somebody, somebody call you a rat or you call them a rat. Or, you know what I'm saying? It, you got to say, we got to keep putting this shit in perspective that they lying. They lying on us. You heard? You got to keep conform that. You got to conform your your, your 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 English into you do. But anyway, unfortunately, he was picked up. So now, you know, his book's been out. Um, Maybe... I don't know, I'm see how far this book came out. That's a fact. Uh, I think it's been a year. Tony Bruss finally you know when his author Malik, yeah. In fact, served twenty two years in state prison and currently resides in see this this is the book right here. This is the author. That's that's Kool Aid. You heard? Um, this is his book. Shout out to Kool Aid, man. Shout out to his wife, Gigi. You heard? She holding him down. You know, I, you know, I spoke to her today. Um, you know, There's so much to go on through what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, you know I, I, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know, man. Sometimes you can be so real with yourself that other people won't understand how, how they wouldn't understand your type of language. They don't understand your type of, you know, um, explanation about a lot of certain things. Um, when you try to explain to them a way so they can see things differently. And it's one of the things I always stress about dudes, man. If you come down on the pill, you come down on things, you know. We try not to give them the, one, the significance or the power to say that they ratted on me. You know, say that they lying on you. Especially if you're still going through the paperwork. Believe that. Now, like I said, it's different when you're in a, in a... You know, it's different when, you know... Because you, you don't have a case to work on, but you got to be careful about what the what the things you say and how things you present when it comes to these rat these rat antics. You heard rat antics. You heard, you know what I'm saying? But um, my thing is this: um, I had an incident that happened, right? True story in Elmira. You know, I had a couple of dudes from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Um, they was young. You know what I'm saying? And one of them got into an altercation with another dude from Brooklyn up there where I was at, out of town. And supposedly he got stabbed. He got stabbed bad. Um, so the thing was with that was I wasn't around the time I was in New York City. But when I came back up, 
And I got a phone call. I was in New York City. He was like, yo, son, son got hit. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I know the nigga that hit him because he was fucking that nigga girl. <laughs> The funny part, and I like the nigga that the girl. The, it's 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 kind of twisted to say that, but you know, son, that I brung up there, you know, so that's state property. That's my property. So I, mm, so you know, I'm like, I right, I gotta make sure his well being is good. But son, he was fucking another cat girl, you know, smashing another cat dude that I knew. And I, it was on the law. But the dude that I know that he was smashing this girl, he got, you know, tight and he hit something. Bing, bing, bing. So, my thing is this. You know, a lot of dudes try to gun him down. They hit him twice. And, but right after that, you know what I'm saying? They hit something twice. He ain't tell. Uh, respect to that. You know, he ain't tell. So, but what happened was, I'm gonna tell you why I gotta, you know, I gotta clean this up for this dude. What happens is, right? There was witnesses. There was witnesses that was at the scene of the time, at the scene of the crime when son got smashed. And you know, the police asked him, yo, who stabbed you? Listen to me. He said, I don't know. I don't know, Stanley, but the witnesses said, the witness that was there said his name. I know, let me tell you, this may sound funny, but I'm funny. I'm funny when it comes to shit like that. You I'm funny when it comes to shit like that. I'm going to tell you why. I'm so fucking funny when it comes to shit. Why. I was very highly upset. I was highly upset when he said he didn't know. I'm going to tell you why. He should have said I'm going to tell you why, because now you got the witnesses saying that that's him. So he's arrested. He gets arrested because he didn't step up and say, no, that's not him. Now, that's the difference. That's a big difference. See? But you, you can't rely on people. Oh, I got to. You can't go around saying, no, I ain't tell. They did. Nah, that's not good with me. That's not good at all. So I'm a different type of nigga. So I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So I had to make him write a statement write an affidavit, and go to the court, to take this to the district attorney, take this to the lawyer, take this to the judge, make these affidavits, make it copywritten, saying that he did not stab you. What the fuck is you talking about? Facts. See, I'm a different type of thinker. I go, I go too deep. But y'all niggas got these rat antics. Y'all don't even understand that when this, all things, these, these things don't belong in existence with, you know, my personality, and if it relates to your personality, then you're a different type of nigga. So I can't relate to your different typeness of how you present or look at different type of shit. That's just it. I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> so, you, you know, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Like, what the fuck? You know? And he's like, no, I ain't red, but... But, um, you know, and... Before, and I got to say this, you know, before the case uh, uh, got dismissed on that fact, but this dude copped out and did the time. And I told him, I said, don't do the time. And he's like, I already copped out. And I was like, nah, that's not good. He railroaded son anyway because they ain't like son in the town. And he wound up copping out to a two to four for a temp and all this crazy. So I'm, that shit had me tight. So I was like, I told this nigga, I said, See, now he got something on you. You know what I'm saying? Even though he got shot twice, but he ain't tap. But he's still like, you know, it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, so that's, you know, I, I just think about shit like that. You know what I mean? You got to be careful. You got to be cautious. You know, a lot of people get under, let me tell you something. A lot of people under pressure, they fold in ways where they normally know they they that wrong. And they expose their hand. Like, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. You know? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm highly upset about, you know, someone putting my name in paperwork, saying that I threatened them or did something like that. That's that's unacceptable. Like, fuck out of here. You can't convince me that you, 
But you a fucking gangster. You know, regardless. Like, I'd be mad at the nigga. If it wasn't me, I'd be mad at that nigga who did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to try to kill that nigga or something. <laughs> Fuck out of here to convince me that that wasn't you. Well, I don't understand. But anyway, I want to go into that. So now, you know, you know, um, my prayers is up for um, Malik, man. You know, um, supposedly, supposedly this book, Convicted at Birth, it goes through his, um, so it's autobiography based on his true story of what he went through, what he's seen. I'm not going to reiterate on it too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love the five stars that I'm presenting right now. The five stars. I'm going to give you a, a general Uh, a general combination of, you know, five stars, but it means things of that nature. Like when it first came about, you know, the demeanor, the characters and stuff, things of that nature, you know, back in the days in the early 90s, you know, when you got five stars, it was like, it was honorable. And it still is like, you still got these people like, okay, K, you know, he trying to get his flag back. Ain't no fucking flag to get back, you bitch ass niggas. Suck a big cucumber, you heard? <laughs> Ain't no fucking flag, man. I don't give a fuck about no flag. My shit is in the museum right now, you fucking weirdos. It's in a museum with five medallions around it. You heard? Mad dust on it. Fuck you I'm talking about. You know, I'm just talking to myself, you heard? Talk to these niggas, you heard? But you know, that's how I do it. So yeah, cause a lot of it's still like you know you got a lot of these talk. These dudes, I'm saying, I can't talk. I don't want to say no names. I can't cause they so distinct that this is piss pitiful. I don't want them to get no. I don't want them to get me. But listen, yeah, I just be hearing shit, y'all. Like you know, KK trying to get his flag back. You know, whoever it is, I don't fuck. These niggas is retarded. You heard these niggas sound like dumb as sounds. These niggas sound stink. You heard? <laughs> these niggas is crazy. You heard? Um, you know, um, um, what it is, right? It's another thing I want to touch on, right? About life, you know. Let me tell you something. I was in the shower the other day, right? And, you know, I was thinking about There was two words that I thought about, you know, uh, reputation and characteristics, you heard? And a lot of people, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to keep it real. And y'all don't give a fuck about niggas getting fucking man. These niggas got reputations, right, that don't coincide with their you no know, characteristics, you hear me? Like, I know dudes. That they look up to certain people, right? They look up to certain people because they felt as if though they are real killers, right? You know, I mean, hey, hooray. Everybody, sometimes, some points, some matter. I'm not taking no killers away from, you know, things of that nature, but and I'm not, but there were a lot of people that people look up to that. And these situations, you know, they may have killed for a perfect reason that makes them seem as if though they are a perfect killer. It's wrong. That's a respectful killer. There are things that we, there are things that they had to do in order for them to react the way they did because if not, they would not have been respected. That's the honest truth. Whether it was in streets, whether it was in jail, we can go around and say, well, that nigga is a killer. We don't understand why he's a killer is what you got to start learning how to understand why. When you look at the circumstances of why, then you understand he, it was a must. And if you never killed before, you will understand that that's what I would have done. Ooh, that was deep, right? That's what I would have done. 
a nigga would've did that to my family, or a nigga would've did that to my kids, or if a nigga would've just insult me and robbed me like I wasn't going to do nothing, that would make you a killer. That would make you a respectful killer. But then we got other killers. We got these other killers who kill for mother effing fun. Maybe for short, short dollars. We got killers out there that kill for short. Back in the 80s, 70s, early 80s, five stacks on a rack. Well, it's five stacks, 5,000 on a nigga head was out of here, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Niggas from the Bronx and Manhattan come down and get Brooklyn niggas to go up there and get these niggas five stacks for a head, nigga. Ten, you heard? And niggas was, a pre, niggas loved that shit, you heard? What did y'all talk about? That, and that was, you know, that's a different type. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, listen, I understand a lot of shit going on in the world besides this shit I'm talking. But some we be listening to this show. Y'all need something different to hear. You know, it's KK's bag. You know what I'm saying? The team, that's the right. The big team, team, team. But this my thing. So don't be intrigued. We that's unnecessarily things that we a lot of people seem to be intrigued about, you know, the reputation that they got for what they've had to do. Is a different type of respect. That's it. I'm going to tell you something. I know a lot of killers that goes to jail, that went to prison, that was more victims than they were killers in the street. They went to jail, and they was more victims. They became victims. Like, I... You can look at him like, fuck, nigga. You know this nigga's a killer. He was a killer in the street, but niggas hanging the phone up on him. Niggas taking the commissary and shit. Niggas smacking him, doing all types of shit. You don't think I seen shit like that? I was like, what the fuck? Not son. 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 Oh, shit. What? That shit used to get me pissed. I didn't like that. See, I'm a different type of thinker. But when they get to the street, they're going to kill everybody. I ask myself, the chances that they take, right? Listen, the chances that they take to go out there and cause so much harm to others, knowing the risk in prison you can't take, why do it? I don't understand that part. That right there to this day triggers me to death. Cause I know niggas that's going through it right now. These niggas was, these niggas is millionaire killers. And now they in the feds and they acting like little booty fucks. You're like, I don't understand that. I love these niggas too. Cause I was in the street with a lot of these niggas. And now these niggas in jail and they act like peaches and cream. And every time I hear this shit, it upsets me to the point where it's that, yo, what the fuck? What happened? Like, I... The niggas tell you that, you know, me. I was already turned up before I went to jail. You know, sometimes... You know, I'm not talking about that in general. Sometimes, man, when I went to jail... I'm going to tell you something. When I went to jail... You do not count the calendar. When you go to jail, ain't no such thing as a calendar. Ain't no such thing as time. Ain't no such thing as looking at your clock. You ain't got no watch. Fuck time. You got to go through your moments each and every second about, yeah, what you going to do? What you plan? How you going to make this shit get fast? Nigga, that shit went so fast for me. I stood everywhere. I went everywhere. I went to some prisons twice. You heard? Oh, shit, he's back again. And Max, as I'm talking about. I went to some prison trial. I went to every goddamn state. Bouncing, bouncing, back. Boom, 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 You know, enemies everywhere. Boom, 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 Yeah, yeah. And they had to put me twice. Sometimes I went to prisons and went there for two days. I'm like, oh, he can't stay here. He got too many. Niggas start dropping slips. Niggas drop slips. 
As soon as I get to the building, they hear my name. My man's and them come to the gate. Yo, you can't come out. Son, you know, son, they hear you chop from the bucket. Hey, this other nigga hear you chop. Son, you ain't come. Happened to me a hundred times. I'm like, fuck. Niggas on my gallery running back and forth. Okay, KK, okay, damn, you can't come out, son. Fuck. I'm like, yo, what do you Nah, son, you got. What fuck we can do, nigga? You got four or five niggas here drop a slips on you. Yo, KK, okay, get the fuck. KK, okay, okay, I got to see you on the next road. Rodeo, you up. Like, fuck out of here. Showing sure up, they pack me up and I'm poof, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's the reputation you have. That's the reputation that was preceded, and you know, and it was very, it was very analyzed closely. Of you know, I was like a track record to a lot of. People, the superintendents, you know, um, the administration, uh, other inmates, you know, of gangs, of races, things of that nature. You know, I just moved about in a way to where is that I was always being watched, and it was a very, it was a very deep concern about my presence. It was, it was a very deep concern about my presence. I'm not gonna lie, you know, even with my own homies, I came into jail and they went crazy. What the fuck? They was mad because I came in jail because they've been living in this fucking shit so comfortably for three, four years. You know, cell hooked up, decked up, shit like that. Then I come through. They're like, oh, they taking all this shit down, packing their shit up. Oh, we are now. We are. We got to go to the box. They call it girl. Yo, sneaky KK in here. You know, no more trailers, bro. We got, I got to go out. We got to go out, you heard? Niggas ain't like that. So I that's what the type of energy that I brought. Fuck out of here. That's the type of energy I brought, man. When I came into jail, everybody packed their shit. As soon as I came in, what? Son in the receiving room? Yeah. Well, we might as well pack up now. You heard? I'm talking about, yeah, nigga. We might as well pack up now, you heard? Because we ain't got no more visits, no commissary, no nothing. Yes, you ain't you right, nigga. Because, you no, know, when I go, we going. We out of here. Fuck that. See food, eat food. That's how it was. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you want me to do, nigga? That was part of the movement. That was everything that I lived for. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm home now. I've been home for 20 years. I'm glad. I appreciate it. But that's what it was. What the fuck? Well, 18 years. You know? You know? I didn't ask for five stars. It was forced on me. The whole hood was forced on me. But I'm not the type. Like I said, you know, shout out to SI. I love you, Tyree Garland. I really love you, Tyree. SI, a.k.a. That's my heart. That was my heart. I was in Brownsville yesterday, and some couple of dudes that was in the feds with him that was out there. I was talking to him, and they was telling me, yo, how much that nigga asked how I loved you. That nigga, and one nigga was like, yeah, son. That nigga came in. That nigga seen a picture of you in my cell. My little cousin was in the feds with him. He said, yo, I said I saw that picture and stole all my pictures of you in there. I said, yeah, that's what he do. Shout out to him, son. Shout out to him, R.I.P. Rest in power, nigga. That's my boy, Tyree Garland. You heard? Shout out to SI. But yeah, you know, I'm reminiscing this shit, you heard? Because I love this shit. But my thing is, you know, um, you know, like, I talked to him from the box when I went to Attic. You know, I popped him. And let me tell y'all something. Yo, I, a lot of you little fuck, fruit boy niggas. Y'all know who I'm talking to. I ain't gonna call your sucking name. Stop using my stories on your podcast. You heard? Stop, stop chopping down my stories and act like that's you. That's not true. You did. That's not y'all niggas. I be hearing y'all niggas on the low. Yo, yo, the CO came and got me. And, uh, you know, I was, because that's my, that's what really happened. Like, right? you know what I mean? Like, these CO's. You know, you know when you're in the transfer, they leave you for last and all that shit, you heard? You know, that's what happened with me, you heard? For real. These niggas be chopping my story down, talking about they was last, you heard? <laughs> what the fuck, you heard? Stop doing that monkey shit, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Stop doing that. Stop chopping down my shit. That ain't true. That's me. Niggas looking at my shit deeply, making their own stories up. You know... These dudes is bugged out. Let me tell you something. One time I was in a motherfucking joint, right, when I first got arrested, right? I had to sign uh, 
a motherfucking um a petition. Somebody petitioned me from some projects that I've you know I caused chaos in in Browns. So I ain't gonna say the building none of that. But it was like eighty people between two three buildings. They said they did not warn me. I was I'm a, I'm barred to this day from going to them projects. If I get caught out there, they run my name. I probably get arrested. Well, it's been over thirty years ago. Almost. But my thing is this. I was in 360 Adams Street. I was in the bullpen. A nigga really thought he was me. Or he thought, well, hold on. Let me see how it went. Oh, yeah. This is what happened. A nigga was in the pen with me. It was like four or five of us. You know, we used to, you know how you in the bullpen. Everybody got their stories. They from Brooklyn. They got their little... So niggas like, yo, man, yo, you should see my son kill a cat, nigga, pull work. Yo, this nigga, niggas looking at me like, and I'm like, because science back to, so I'm like, what? Kill a cat? So I went up to him, kill a cat? Yeah. Why the nigga look? Short, dark skin nigga like you. I don't even know this nigga, you heard? I'm looking at this nigga like, oh, what? So everybody in the pit started laughing. He got quiet. He was like, fuck. Why are you laughing at? So, looked at me. I said, I, I ain't laugh though. I'm looking at this nigga like, because I'm looking at him, he a, a friend of foe, you heard? He might be a foe, you heard? He's like, now nah, why are you laughing? I said, yeah, fuck it. And then one nigga's like, yo, that's, you told the killer cab looking at you right now. He's like, oh, nah, not, nah, not you. Now they got another one running. I said, shut the fuck up. Fuck out of here. I smacked the nigga with a cheese sandwich. Fuck out of here, you heard? <laughs> hey, boy, stop. Yo, yo, get me out of here, see? Yo, yo, fuck out of here, you heard? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get this nigga up out of here, see? Yo. See, back in the bullpens, they get the pull. Hey, yo, you back, you see how one out? They gonna, they gonna get you out. We start hitting that nigga with cheese sandwiches. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Hey, boy, fuck cheese. Yo, yo, chill out, yo, chill out. Yo, get, you gotta get out the pen, son. Get out the next one, but I ain't let niggas harm him. I just had niggas throw siege sandwiches at him, yo. Hit this nigga, hey. That nigga was funny. He was funny. That nigga was real funny. So I like, nah, don't do nothing to him. Just let the nigga get out of here. He gotta go. He gotta go. He gotta get out the pen. That's it. Yo. <laughs> that shit was funny. But you know, you got a lot of people who hear a story and they chop it down and present it to themselves as if though that they that you forgot about what you said in all your videos. They will actually chop, a, take a piece of your, they look at your joint, take, then you got, you know, this is crazy. I, I've never seen this before. Now you got dudes making videos and they got these fake troll pages and they answer themselves on their own video. Yo, yo, that's a cool video you just did. I love you. And it be them. It's their video. They got a YouTube video and under the comments they put, yo, they got these troll pages now. It's like 80 of them. It's the same person that made the video, and they like this. Yo, this shit cool. Hey, yo, fuck the niggas. And hey, yo, it'd be the same nigga that made the video. <laughs> I'll be like, what the fuck? What's wrong with these dudes? Psychologically, they dead. Like, it's crazy. I don't understand that shit, man. Yo, yo, man. Yo, shout out. Y'all got to shout out this nigga. Yo, shout out the. I'm going to shout out all three of these niggas. I don't want no beef, you heard? I don't want no beef with y'all niggas, you heard? I don't want no beef. I don't want no smoke. Shout out to Scheme Team. Shout out to 183rd. Shout out to Brazy. Shout out to, you know, uh, 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 what's the other little nigga name? The other little nigga from Ohio. Shout out them niggas out. Shout out four of them niggas out, you heard? What's the other little nigga name? <laughs> He's not serious. <laughs> Yo, shot, I don't want no smoke with these niggas. What's up, a little nigga's name? Quick question. Why don't you run them? Uh, Nicole Armstrong, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I can't pin it. Can't pin it. I would like to pin that, but that was good. Uh, unfortunately, yes, I will one day. Right now, yeah, but unfortunately, I will one day. That's a good way. I've been looking at that avenue, you heard? I've been looking at that avenue, but um, yeah, 
But on cold up, cold up, cold up, y'all listen to me. But this is this, you know, Nicole Armstrong, I appreciate, I support, I support your thoughts. I appreciate your thoughts. Facts. I appreciate your thoughts. I like that. It was very humble. Very, very humble. Very humble. But yo, I want to shout these dudes out. I know I had that doctor's appointment this morning, right? You know they going through it. You know, 183rd, 100, 100 bounty hunters. I think the bounty hunters. Whatever their little shit they going through, knick-knack, shit like that. Boo, boo, boo. But, yo, you know, I had to laugh so hard. Scheme team. Scheme. I had to laugh so hard until I put on, you know, I just, I was in the, you know, waiting area, waiting for the doctor to call me. I'm a, and I got to say, Scheme team made me laugh. I mean, that dude is unbelievable. You know, he said, yo. Yo, belt, yo, that niggas from the West Coast is fool. All you niggas is fool. You go to the alley, y'all fool. And don't think CK, oh, don't, and don't think, and KK and CK, them niggas crocodile smiling. <laughs> so, boo, I hit 183rd up. Uh, I put him on time out. I said, yo, I'm going to time you out, 183rd, because why you keep fucking with this nigga, y'all? Nah, son, you keep fucking with this. Stop fucking with that nigga. Skin got me in. Down and laughing. Like, you no, know, people, the nurses have had to come out and tell me, shut up, because I, I was laughing so hard. I was laughing so hard at Skin. I just kept repeating that shit. Yo, 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 yo. This nigga Skin had me laughing. 183rd had me laughing. I chopped it up with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes is, like, you know what I'm saying? They going through what I was going through. You know, it's a tussle. You know how these dudes be tussling. Everybody be tussling. Everybody trying to... But you know, in a way, I'm going to keep it real. In a way, that's what they do in order to make themselves grow stronger. Because sometimes when you struggle like that with your peers, you know, people are the same. They're all in the same movement together. So, you know, it's not really going to go no beef. It's not going to go that far. It's not. But it's entertaining. But the entertaining, they can collaborate in somewhat in an aspect where is that, you know, they could generate money. They could generate money, you heard? They could generate a lot of money if they put their minds to it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I want to shout them out. You know what I mean? I got to shout them out for that, you heard? But they made me laugh. That dude scheme had me laughing. And, you know, and they was like, yo, yo, kill a cab and see K crocodile smiling with y'all niggas, you heard? That was funny. You know, and you know, they showed another episode with Scheme with some shoes that I, I was like, what the fuck y'all doing? They talking about the shoes and shit. Like they didn't know what it was. Nobody knew what it was. I don't even know what it was. But that shit was funny. I, these niggas is going at, but they make my day. They made my day, man. I appreciate them. You heard? I appreciate them wholeheartedly for making my day. They made me laugh. You know what I'm saying? You know, I haven't laughed in a while, man. A lot of deaths going on. I went to a lot of funerals this past month. You know, then I had a lot of birthdays this last this past month. Got like four months. Today's my daughter's birthday. My oldest daughter. You know what I mean? She turned 33. You know what I mean? Shout out to Janera Davis, Monique Davis, whatever she calls herself on Facebook. She got so much alias. She th I think she on a run, you heard? You know what I mean? She changed her Facebook every other day. You know what I'm saying? And request me every other day. Got a new hairstyle, new makeup. New, she do mad, funny shit. Like I'm like, we find out. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you wanted or something because you changed your shit more than I did. You know, I, I used to do my shit like that. That's a fact. You know what I mean, shout out to Monique Davis though. You know what I mean? Her pretty black self, very pretty black woman. You know, she had a natural hair out, natural, and you know, she was drunk Saturday. You know, dancing with a dad, acting crazy, yeah, the projects, you know what I mean? I, I, you know what I mean? Crazy. I love her. It's my first born. Happy birthday to her. Happy 33 birthday to her. You know what I'm saying? Happy 33 birthday to her. But yeah, man, so, you know, that was funny. That was funny. It was lavish. There's no, it's entertaining, so keep it like that, man. You know, it's nothing, you know, it's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's it. It's a black thing, man. You know, it's a black thing, you know. That's it. That's like I say. Salute, salute. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Get got footage that's dope. Bro, if you can send me material, let me know. Got footage that's dope. What's the footage that? We definitely getting old. I'll be coming. Let me tell you something well, about me. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know. 
like I said, man, five stars didn't mean that much to me. It didn't change me. And this is why I'm so, I mean, this is why one of the things, I want to get back on, you know, having five stars. I mean, I will, when I first was given five stars from SI, you know, and, you know, at first he wanted me to be to take the whole entire hustle. So now I ain't with that, you heard? That's a fact. I mean, he's like, oh, so he gave me five. And I'm like, that shit ain't going to change the way I think. It's not going to change the way I move. And I continue to do so until I came home. You know what I'm saying? And um, after me was um, Diamonds. Diamonds received it after me. I relived. I pooped, gave it to him while he was in prison. Shot it down a diamond. You know what I'm saying? So, but my thing is this. My thing is this. You know. I mean, a lot of people, it was hard. It was very, very a lot of people, a, a lot of people haven't received any stars like I have. A lot of people just probably went and, you know, and got hoods, you know, but having five stars was a very big difference in, in, um, Reputation, having five stars was a big reputation inside prison. You know what I'm saying? That held a that held the that held a platinum trophy over the overall of the 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 golf offer. Right up under the golf offer is the five star. You know what I'm saying? Of that set. You know, you underneath the golf offer in that set. I was like Sammy the Bull in that set at that time under the golf offer, which was SI. But having them five stars under that. Regime was an honor. Uh, did it change me? No. Did I felt any different? No. Did it make me any different? Hell no. I still remain the same. Still vigilant. Still focused on one goal seeking destroy. That was it. That was my thing. You know, um, I'm not the type that bragged about it. Went other places to other prisons. So everybody knew what time it was. But, and I'm not sitting here to try to glorify it. I'm not. But as a general, there was a difference between being a very supportive status, having a very having very, having a big support on having this status was more of a challenge of me to orchestrate few as I orchestrate many, which I never did. And that was weird. And, you know, people used to always tell me when I was in jail, like, yo, son, yo, make them niggas do, you ain't got to just sit back, boy. Because I seen dudes do that. They sat around, and they was like, yo, if that nigga don't do that, we got we to gotta get him. You know? Nah, you can't. See, I don't like that. I didn't like that. That wasn't my, that wasn't my, that definitely wasn't my modem. You know, my dad, that wasn't my modem. That wasn't my joint to be like, send niggas on mission, something that I ain't going to do. But we had to be together. We had to be in the mix. We had to be together. And sometimes I'll go forward, like, poof, you know. And if I see you slacking, laying around, poof, I might hit you in the mix of it. But I don't know, you heard? I don't know. It depends on how I feel, you heard? I feel that, you know, like I said, man, a lot of niggas you go to war with, they have like their gun jam, you heard? While you firing, you looking at this nigga, he like just looking at your niggas, and when you turn your gun on, poof, poof, God, yeah, you heard? Shit like that, man. I look at shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's very dangerous. There was something else I wanted to reiterate on that was very, very important. This is very important. This is very important. You know, so lately, you know, a lot of things been going on. I'm not going to say no names, you know. A lot of these big homies um, and a lot of dudes, and not necessarily big homies. You got OGs and all that, you know. So uh, a lot of things are surfacing. A lot of things have been surfacing lately, but it's been quiet. You know, a lot of these big homies are talking about a lot of these dudes is, you know, with their paperwork and things of that nature. You know, I'm, I've been hearing names, and I'm not going to say no names, but I've been hearing names about these dudes that don't really surprise me. A lot of things don't surprise you no more about even our own that everybody, hundreds of thousands of people look up to it was on some, you know, uh, disloyalty shit. And I look at a lot of things when it comes to disloyalty. 
So, you know, one of the things I want to reiterate on, <laughs> one of the things I want to reiterate on is that we know since we, we know since at birth, growing up in a household with strong parents, strong mothers, about the things that we not, they don't know, they don't involve themselves in it. They teach us, our parents, how to say no, how to say yes, how to look at things different through life, what they've seen and what they've been through. Because I'm going to tell you the truth, you know, my mother's a church woman now, by the grace of God, but she was grinding when she was young. I saw that growing up, and she never ratted, you heard, and she never told, you know what I mean? And, you know, my father used to whip her ass every day, and she never put him in jail. But she walked around with black eyes and things of that nature. I understand that, all right? And that's probably one of the reasons why I get this, you know, you get to, you get to see why. You know, we never, growing up, you know how kids were always afraid of cops. They see a cop in a uniform, they go crazy. What the fuck? It's like they got possessed. When you got this type of energy that you rely on as your time coming up, you don't conform to their uh, pleasure. Like, you know, you don't conform to their pleasure. You know, growing up, you'd be like, man... You know, growing up, you know, you do, do things and things happen, you know. The police got a job to do with you. But to help them do a job concerning someone like yourself or someone, no, you don't get involved in that. You're not supposed to. So, you know, you learn these traits. And these traits comes with things that you think of, you know. And it may not just be even on the job. Like, you know, for instance, you know, for instance, like what the fuck, I look like I, it's it's you it's you gotta follow through protocol, but you gotta know you can't tell nobody not now. Let me tell you something: you can't tell nobody not how to rap. You can't tell nobody not how to rap because if it's in them, like and they say things like "yo," but that's not that's not the streets. That's something that's ratting, and you still do. But boom, boom. but my thing is this: like I had a white girl. I was working at a job, right? I was working at a job, all white. And it was a cabinet factory job, you know? I went there every day. Like, I was broke, but, you know, I had my bins. So I used to pull up. And all you saw was dirt bikes and pickup trucks with mud on it. But I'm coming through the parking lot with that shiny-ass, big-ass 500. Like I said before, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a short story. So I used to come to the fuck out of here. You know, the boss used to come and have me. He's a who the fuck drive a car better than me? I just did the best of it on that car. It was almost something, honey. $90,000 is brand new, but it was like five years older than that. Well, who drive that car? And they'd be like, and I'm the only black guy in there, but I'm working. I'm doing a, I'm raising their interest on their cabins because the way I, my job was, was that I ran a press machine. The press machine relied on me not cracking it, me not, it had to be measured right, molded right, things of that nature, boom, boom. So I was given a percentage a day off the top of making a collectively perfect sinks, six to four to five, you know, feet wide. Marble, marble sinks. These are marble sinks I was doing. So, but um, make a long story short, well, I had two incidents in there. First incident I was in there. Um, no, 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 I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip that because that shit was disgusting, man. Just fucking, my white people got different thoughts, you heard, when they talk about sh nasty sex and shit. But anyway, I don't wanna go through that. But one chick was in there, right? She had a crush on me, right? Her name was Tabitha. The bitch had a, a, a cyclop eye. You know, I, one eye went this way. You heard? Being short, but she had a fat. I ain't gonna fuck. She had a fat ass. She was cute. But her eye was just boop. Her eye went left. You heard? When her eyes went left and shit, you heard? But, you know, I knew she, and she had a big donkey dunk, short, bon bon. But, you know, I'm the only black dude. I come in here, you know, and she's a real country girl. You know, fucking sneakers is, you know, twisted. Shoe strings black as me. You, you know, I'm like, damn, I'm looking at these motherfucking bitches. Like, I know her feet stink. Girl. She's been got rid of shits. 
10 years ago, you heard? They be wearing sneakers until like 30 years, you heard? Like, fuck is wrong with this bitch? But she was cute, but she had fat butt, but I'm like, fuck, I, I never fuck, I ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? But she was all right. But anyway, she kept coming over to my space, you heard? You know, picking with me. What's up? Pretty chocolate thing, pretty black thing, anything. Uh, now, I don't think she never messed with a black dude before, you heard? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, listen, that thing is stupid, right? These niggas is stupid right here. But anyway, right? This is a true story. This is word to my mother. So, I said this before on here. I did it. I said this shit a while, a couple of months ago. So, nigga, like, listen, you know, I, you know, I try to, you know, I smile, but I was trying to be respectful. But I was brushing off at the same time, like, fuck out of here. Please get the fuck out of here. But she just kept coming over there, picking with me, but. So, you know, I went and told one of the white boys in there that she was fucking. I was like, yo, man. He's like, yo, I'm like, why does bitch keep fucking me? He said, I, you know what it is, KK. I don't fuck with that bitch like that, but she trying to get you, want you. I'm like, I don't want that bitch to fuck sneakers. Motherfucker, she need her shit turned up like the Dutch people. You never seen sneakers turned up this way? How the fuck your sneaker turn up this way? <laughs> fuck out of that one for no bitch like that. I don't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure I say clap eye, but she all right, she all right. This nigga goes back. And tells his mans it up. And then you know how that shit start. They start, oh, laughing and shit. You heard? Like, damn, KK said this about her. Cyclops it up. I said, stick. Now, she don't talk to me. <laughs> so she don't talk to me no more. I'm like, cool. All right, I'm cool with that. But she gets tight because I'm ignoring her still. So I'm like, you know, I'll go around, smile, boom, boom, lunch, pray, boom, boom, boom. It's like two days go by. I don't say nothing to her. And she looks at me now. Disgusted, you heard? Like, how did KKK look at you now? Fuck. Man, I should have never gave this nigga a laugh, you heard? Like, I should have never gave this nigga boom, boom, you know, all the type of shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. I'm here to do my work. So now, check it out. Now I go, now, you know, under the press machines, I got six of them that I run. I usually got to go up under it and clean the wax around it, mold it, make sure it molds so it won't, so the sink will come out even instead of, I got to clean the wax around it so it won't. Leave a lump inside the, the the um um the marble. The marble got to be perfect. So if I leave any wax around it, any speck of ass, it'll unshape the whole thing. Then I got to do it all over again. I got to use it as scrap. So I'm trying to scrape shit. <sighs> Let me tell you this. It's no motherfucking lie, man. That bitch hit me in the head with a piece of marble. <laughs> Boop! While I was under the sink. I mean, out of nowhere, boom, hit me. I got, I thought something hit me. Got up, and I looked her direction. I looked everywhere around me. Everybody started laughing to see her. All the way, people started laughing. Fuck. And she started laughing and switching her ass back to her pose. I said, that was, so my man was like, that was her. She threw, I said, word, word. She hit me in the head with a piece of marble. I, now, you know. A lot of dudes who don't want to lose their job, they'll go tell a fucking boss. Fuck you talking about. Not me. Fuck out of here. That shit never crossed my mind. When I was sitting there watching that bitch shake her fat ass back to her post, nigga, I, I almost passed out thinking about what I want to do to her. Like I was going to take her through in the compressor all type of shit. I was like, nah, God. I started sweating profusely. I was like, what the fuck this bitch? She ain't getting away with this shit. Some of people got quiet. They seen the way I look. They ain't never seen that look before. So I'm looking at everybody. Like I want to settle on all everybody in there. Everybody turn their back. Oh shit, going back to work. Then I got this black nigga mad. Some work. So now, you know, me personally, I was like, yo. I said, yeah, I can't, I can't let this bitch get away with this shit. But I gotta do this shit good. You know what I'm saying? So being my punk ass, you know, I'm like, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I said, yo, I got to go to the bathroom. That's what I start thinking. I said, go to the bathroom. Yo, go home in there. Go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom. So, boom. When the white boys helped me, that's it, boom. I went to the bathroom. My athlete was going to the bathroom. I went outside to the parking lot. Went out through the back door. Took my knife. Blew all the tires out. <laughs> all four of them, you heard? <laughs> Came back in through the back. Went to the bathroom. Pissed. Came back out. I was like, yo, we took you so long, so none of your fucking business. I had to take a shit. Fuck up, you heard? 
boom, so now I go back to work. Now, boom, so we got like about a half an hour to go to lunch. She ain't gonna know until she go to lunch, you heard? All the time is just blowing out, you heard? So now I go back in, I start laughing. I start switching too when I go back to my post. Everybody looking at me like, what the fuck this nigga up to? I'm like, do, fuck out of here. Do, do, fuck cracker. Do, 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 do. I went back to work, fuck out of here. So now I go back to work. So now, boom. So now, you know, the motherfucking joint ring. Time for lunch. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I'm way in the back. Everybody in the front, it's like three stages. Everybody in the front, they already going, running out the door, running, punching up the clock. Boy, 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 boy. I want everybody to come out. Want to come out. Get the fuck out of here. I want to be the last one. So I want to see their faces, you I go out. I walk, clock out, bing. I open the door. I saw about four sets of clan meetings. They all sat around. Everybody red in the face, you heard? Like, yeah, but it was one white boy. You know, you got that one white boy? That one white boy that said, I don't give a fuck about them niggas. Yo, KK, you my man? He was like, yo, you want to go to McDonald's? I was like, yeah, we're going to McDonald's for lunch. You drop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I took my son to McDonald's. A white boy, come on, let's go. I jumped in my bins. I turned back around, looked. Them niggas red in the face. She was screaming. I know you did it. And I said, what she talking about? He said, I don't know, son. She a bug out. I said, come on, let's go get some McDonald's. You heard? Boom, we drove over with the McDonald's. We come back in. Nigga, we come back to the spot. It's not even time to go back in for lunch. The whole parking lot was clear. The whole parking lot was clear. So, boom, we go. I'm like, the fuck, everybody at? We sit in the car. We got like 10 more minutes to go back inside. Ain't nobody outside. <laughs> nobody outside for lunch. I'm like, oh shit, it gonna kill me when I go back in this ball. Fuck, fuck out of here. I had my knife out, you heard? He was like, yo, my man was like, the white boy was like, yo, I never, this is very strange, man. What's going on? I, he don't know nothing, though. He don't know nothing. He don't know what's going on. He don't know that. I ain't know. I don't tell that nigga shit. I ain't say nothing to nobody. Nobody know nothing. He's like, I don't, I, like, I don't know what's going the fuck is wrong with these niggas. That's like, I don't know neither, you heard? So I'm like, fuck, I'm eating. So, boys, come on, let's go. It's like 12.27. You know, we got to clock back in at 12.30. So, we get out the car. You know, we come back in. I still don't see nobody working or nothing. What the fuck? So, I go back to my post. White boy, like, what the fuck? I say, I don't know what the fuck. You heard this shit's crazy. He's like, yeah, but he, he does painting. He paints the marble. So, he had to go back to his station. I went back to my station. I don't see my poor up. So they got a pourer that's there. I'm, he's a pourer. He put he he put all of the, the 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 chemicals and stuff, and he pours it in the mold. Well, I takes it and boom boom and shapes and stuff. So I'm like, what the fuck's up sitting there? The supervisor comes walking up, the motherfucking alley. Do, 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 do. He was cool too. Do, 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 do. Fucking nothing. These niggas want to play good cop bad cop shit. The fuck out of here with that. Hey, Mr. Davis, what are you up to? I said, nothing, man. I'm ready to start work. Where everybody at? It's like, oh, man. Um, I don't know, but, um, you know, the boss want to see you. I said, the boss want to see me. He's like, yeah, the boss want to see you. for what? I said, man, I don't know, man. They, you know, they play that Tom, Dick, and Harry shit, you heard? So, boom. I'm like, all right. So, I follow him. We go through these motherfucking doors, go up the step, flight the steps to this fucking big office. And the motherfucking boss got the computer, a laptop, desktop computer like this, right, right in front of him. But he got me sitting on the back, so he's looking. He said, like, how you doing, Mr. Davis? You all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. So he's typing. I'm like, yo, what's this about? You heard? <laughs> stupid shit. Stupid top fucking top. What's this about? You heard? He's like, nah, nothing. He said, oh. Then he goes, yo. He goes, what's that in your head? I said, what you mean, what's that in my head? What the fuck? So I start rubbing my shit and start shit start sprinkling. I still had marble in my head from when that bitch threw marble on me. I was like, oh shit. I was like, I don't know. You know how that shit go, man. I'm up under the motherfucking joint, under the sink and all that. You heard? Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? He like, oh. Uh. So, you know, I'm looking on the computer. I see that you went to lunch. He tried to get me. He tried to get me. 
He said, I see that you went to lunch, but uh, and you came back. That's good. He said, but what happened with you and Tabitha? I said, the fuck you mean what happened? I said, you know, it would be me and Tabitha, you heard? He said, Mr. Davis, you know, I'm looking at the, you know, you know I got cameras, right? I'm like, what? All right, what? I don't know what the fuck. He said, you know I got cameras, right? I said, I don't give a fuck what you got. I ain't do nothing. I don't care what you see. Wasn't me. Yo, you, 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 nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. What you talking about? He said, well, you know, somebody blew Tabitha, uh, somebody blew Tabitha tires out and everybody's saying it was you. But I'm sitting here looking at the computer. I said, I don't care what you're looking at. He tried to get me. He tried to get me. I was so good at lying. I didn't even tell on myself. I, I was so good at lying that he had to respect me. He had to, yo, listen, listen. He tried for, like, I, he had to send me back to work. But he kept saying, well, I'm looking at the computer. I see he was lying the whole time. They didn't want cameras. Dudes already told me they didn't have cameras. When she parked the car at, there was no cameras there. So I already knew. So he was trying to get me on that police shit. I don't know if me and her got no problems. I don't know what they talking about. But did she hit you in the head? But sometimes I was like, nah. See how their friends when they said that I did that. The guys when they said that I, that she did that. That she hit me in the day. Boom, boom. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. She hit me in the head, man. She probably, probably don't fuck about none of that. She ain't hit me in the head with nothing, man. And I ain't do nothing to her, man. I don't know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? He's like, all right. Let's get late because you ain't giving it in. Uh, go back to work. So I got, I got up. Went back to work. You heard? Now, I go back to work. I don't see Tabitha around. I don't see this bitch around, you heard? Where the fuck is this bitch at? So anyway, boo boo, everybody quiet. I'm like, yeah, they plotting. So you know me, I'm tired. I'm like, man, that bitch better not do nothing to my car. Cause I had my bins out there. But anyway, make a long story short, she didn't. Do she didn't do nothing? But what happened was, she they made her leave. They made her leave because of a car. They had to go get a car. For somebody had to come and tow a car and things of that nature. Boom, boom. So when the job was over with, right? Everybody got quiet. All the white people got shook. All the dudes got shook because they see how hard I went. You know what I'm saying? They were shook. Boom, boom. But make a long story short, you know, they wound up releasing me right after work. They said, yo, you, you can't come back. <laughs> you can't come back. And I was like, well, all right, that's cool. You already said last day of work. Boom, 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 boom. I left. Big. And then what happened was, I don't know about charges that she pressed on me. She supposed to have pressed charges on me for um, criminal mischief. I think she went and filed a complaint, but they couldn't find no camera. They couldn't find no camera or no footage. And I was like, that's my word against her word. And they wound up, and they wound up firing her too. They wound up firing her too because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because she filed a complaint. Because it happened on their property. I don't know what the fuck it was. But see, this this type of shit I be going through, you heard? Fuck out of here, you heard? You know what I'm saying? That's the type of shit I be doing. You know what I mean? It was weird. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was crazy. But you know, you know, it's, you know, I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know what I'm saying? You know, you fucking hit me. You know what I'm saying? Then I reacted, overextended, reacted with you. Fuck, you thought that you wasn't expecting a nigga to do nothing like that to any of your property. I'm a different type of nigga. You think I was going to sit there and let you shake your ass back to the post after you didn't bust me upside my head with a piece of motherfucking uh, marble? Fuck out of here. You lucky I ain't picked you up, put you in the compressor, pressed the machine down and killed you right there in front of everybody. You know, that's what was going through my mind. Like, that motherfucker crazy. Fuck is wrong with her? But yeah, man. But they tried to get me with the okie doke. They had no cameras. I didn't fell for it. You heard? Fuck out of here. I don't care what you saw. That ain't me. I don't give a fuck up the only black nigga you see. Ain't me, you heard? That's not me. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't give in for nothing. To the point to where is that, yo, he got to go back to work and do that. And I was good. You know what I'm saying? And you know what happened was, and I'm, I'm uh, what happened was, they said I could have reapplied. <laughs> he, he, I was working so good. But they had to fire me because of what happened. And everybody said I, I did it. So he had to fire me because he didn't want to make it look like, oh, you're going to keep this nigga here? I think he did this to this white chick. So you know how that shit go. Oh, hell no. You're going to make this nigga stronger than us? So he had to let me go. But you know what he said on the low before I left? He said, you can reapply again. So he was a good worker, Mr. Davis. You can reapply in six months. 
Come back in six months. I ain't never come back. I went back to say hello. Like, what's up? Had a new car. You all right? A better car than him. What's up? What's up? You know what I mean? Because the boss was all right with me. He was all right. But he was like, yo, I can't let you stay here because they're going to think, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? She went and told, and that's the reason why they let her go. Because she started telling the boss to tell, to, trying to tell the boss what to do with me. And he was tired of that shit. He was like, what? Wait, hold up. Fuck it. I'm going to get rid of him, but I'm going to get rid of you too. Fuck that shit. You heard? And then he told me to reapply in six more months. You know what You be good in six more months. I'll hire you back. I was like, nah, fuck out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? True story. But I'll never forget that. One bitch. And I had an incident prior to that. And I'm going to tell you, the boss, the boss, the boss, like, fuck, fuck is wrong with this bitch? This one, this bitch kept coming by my mother. Bitch look like Lurch, you heard? This bitch look like Lurch. She like six foot tall. No neck, hunchback, you heard? And young. She was young, young with the like, date, hills has eyes type of shit, you heard? You know, her, she worked in there too. She was on my, oh, can I give you a snowball? What the fuck? And I know I'm black. I don't know no white jokes, you heard? So I'm like, ah, laughing, 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 laughing. Get the fuck out of here, you heard? Can I give you a snowball? Ah, everybody laughing. All these motherfucking crackers laughing. So my man said, yo, son, one of the white boys said, yo, you know what a snowball is? I said, no, what the fuck is a snowball? Because I'm, I'm getting tired of hearing this bitch saying that. She said, that's when you, you know, that's when you ejaculate in a chick mouth and she spit it in yours. I said, what? What the fuck? So I started yelling through the whole joint. I was like, you bitch. I made this bitch. Listen, I went wild on this bitch. You fuck bitch. Yo, you fucking hell ass ass. I swear you fuck your, oh, your brother. Your father fucks you. You a baby. If you got a baby by your own brother, the fuck out of here. Put it in. I started wilding. Like, uh, uh, I was drooling. Uh, fuck out of here, you dumb ass bitch. Talk to me like the fuck is you want. Uh, uh, she started crying. I uh, ran to the boss. The boss heard what happened. And people was like, nah, she was telling them that. And he said, oh, that's nasty. He didn't fire me. He let me, <laughs> let me stay in. But he told that bitch, get the fuck out of here. He told her, yo, go work somewhere else. He put that bitch away from me. Yo, fuck is wrong with that bitch? I don't give a fuck how much she cried. Yo, fuck out of here. That bitch was crying by the time I got finished with her, you heard? I had everybody laughing at her, you heard? Fuck out of here, lurch, you heard? You fucking retard. I said, you hills ass eyes. Oh, you incest, you an incest baby. Look at you. You going to baby on your back. You hunched back. I was on her. I was wilding on this bitch. You heard? Fuck out of here. Don't play with me with that snowball shit. Me and my son was told about that shit the other day, man. Word up in Brownsville. Man, fuck out of here, man. That shit had me tight, you heard? Yo, you talking about, now I was going to put hands and feet on her. That right there, that was worse than to get hit with a marble. What? I was putting hands and feet on her. I was like, Ugh! and she knows she tall. Somebody just Bleh, fuck bitch. Yo, boy, I was hitting shit. Pff, you fucking hunchback. Pff, look at you, you fucking incest. Pff, that's why you ain't got no fucking brains now. Pff, you know what I'm saying? You had to be by your own brother. Pff, fuck out of here. Wailing on her. Shit got me tight. You know? fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers, man? Niggas crazy in the country. You know, PA is something different. San PA and Athens and all that, all hills has eyes. That shit by Elmira, that 15, 20 minutes from Elmira. Don't go to that town, nigga. You'll get spooked the fuck out. They got no lights on the block, no trees, no nothing, you heard? Dears, is talk, dears talk better than these motherfuckers, you heard? Bears and all that run that town. Fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? I'm telling y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? I've been there and done that shit, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, shit's crazy up there. You heard? Fucking crazy. That's a fact. Fuck is wrong with y'all niggas, man? You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy, man. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you some real shit, man. I never from a boy from a nigga like me from the city. Hey, yo, you got more. See, yo, you know what's so funny? I'm talking about the snowball store. Now you got niggas on my Instagram going snowball, snowball, snowball. You heard? See, you see what type of shit I be got? I gotta go through. Yo, stink, this niggas in my, niggas in my. I got notifications up like yo, snowball, son, snowball, son. What the fuck? 
Now niggas in my inbox hit me on the love. I'm still doing live. They still hit me. Snowball. That shit ain't no joke, son. That shit had me tight, nigga. Word almost passed out. Thinking about what I want to do. I want them. I want to put hands and feet on her. But I find that shit out. Yo, they different up there. Even the niggas is different. Even the black niggas. I'm going to tell you something. You talking about our black race. Yeah, we got my black race, right? The black race. When they fuck with chicks like that, they twist it. You heard? They are naturally twisted. Like they, you know, they indulge in a lot of things that that's not, that's not suitable. They not. You know, when you see a white chick like that, that she got mixed kids by a nigga like that. Joe, there's a problem with this nigga too. Your earth's a super problem with these niggas. You heard? Like, these niggas will fuck someone with no legs and arms and wife them. You heard? You know what I'm saying? One eye and all that. One eye, one nostril. You heard? Them niggas will marry a chick. Watch these niggas. Them niggas is weirdos. Those are the type of niggas that's weirdos. But yeah, man. It's a dope dude different. It's, they, 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 one thing I love, I'm going to tell you, one thing I, I respect about you know, the area, the area, they, they crazy, bug, there a lot of crazy shit goes on out there, they leave doors open, the car doors open, you know, it takes showers with the windows open, they got no curtains, they walk around butt naked, no curtains, no nothing, you heard? That's is why they get kidnapped, snatched up, raped, all that crazy shit, because they think nature don't exist, you heard? They think niggas like, niggas... They, they, don't, they don't think no, no nothing exists, you heard? With, with violence, you heard? They, they crazy, you heard? You know, when I was up there, I lived like I was in jail. Nigga, I locked all doors, closed all windows, keep the shades down, you heard? <coughs> Cop my shit on cop. Yeah, nigga. Because if there or beer, anybody come through there or try to sneak in my window, try to snatch my kids, I'm, I'm in them out. The niggas don't think like that. They don't think like that. They free with it. They like they, they they zombies. They nature free. Like they have no kin. They so naive about violence. It's a shame. They don't be understanding. It's one of the things that I had to get used to living upstate and these towns. You heard? And I was getting a little money because when they when you introduce these type of people to drugs, because there's no drugs up there. So when you introduce them to drugs, I'm not gonna lie. You introduce them to drugs. It changed. I had a let me tell you something. I had a whole trailer park in Milton, PA. The biz was getting high. I had to get my man up out of there. My man was dying of cancer, you heard? He, I put, you know, my baby mom put me on to him, and he turned the whole, these motherfuckers were 70 years old, started smoking. They never smoked in their fucking life. Not cigarettes or drugs, no cigars, but when they smoked that crack, they was out of there. They was hula hooping, boom, you know, it ain't no cops. They went crazy. They was in the yard having bonfires, big ass. I was like, yo, things, but I never really wanted to be seen. He was doing a lot of shit. So they told on him, yo, he got to get out of here. So the whole town came down on the trailer park. And they started kicking everybody out the trailer park, you heard? Because of me. <laughs> shit was crazy. That was back in the day. So I don't do that no more. I don't profess that no more. I don't believe in that shit no more. I don't do no drugs no more. None of that shit, you heard? I don't sell nothing of that. None of that. None of that. I don't do that shit, you heard? But that's how it was when it was popping out there, you heard? These niggas was crazy, you heard? And there was already nuts in the head. And, you know, where I was at in Millicent, PA, you could walk to Elmira in New York. There's a sign right down the block that says, Welcome to New York on one side. And then the other side goes, Welcome to PA, coming back. So it was, it was easy, you heard? Walk right across the street, you in New York. Walk across the road, you in PA. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's very different. You know, coming from a guy with, like me, coming from the city, I disciplined myself, learned their behavior, learned that to them, and I'm going to tell you something, man, ratting to them is legal. You had to be very careful. But let me tell you something about me. One thing I had over a lot of people that sold drugs and got ratted on was that these people, the same people, almost the same people, they went rat on me. They wouldn't give me up. But the fucked up thing is they would give someone up. I would never know. But two other niggas tell me, yo, these motherfucking feet, the police, yo, these the fiends won't, they you know how many times the police gave these niggas all type of shit to get to me, money to get to me because they knew I was getting money. And the fiends be like, no, nah, I ain't doing that to KK. You better give me something else. Give me somebody else. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Because I was too good. I was too good. 
And it's one of the things that you gotta learn what you do, even in, in business like that. You can't, you can't, you know, you gotta understand something about fiends, man. You know, I've been in the game so long, it's traditional to me. You know, I'm not no longer in it, but it's you gotta respect. You still gotta have respect for them. You gotta understand and honor their habits. You gotta do that. You can't treat them like dogs and be like talking to more type of ways. You can't do shit like that. Because they still human beings. And you know, it's come point in time where you you gonna need them more than they need you. So you gotta understand that you talk to them a certain way, like fuck out of here. You ain't got what to like throw the shit. Fuck out of here. They be like, all right. They gonna come back with a thousand dollars. You gonna want the thousand dollars because oh, you got a thousand dollars? They go, yeah, nigga, I'm setting you up at the same time. That's what they do. They buy, <laughs> get smoke, you know, not thinking, not know where the fuck you get a thousand dollars from, you dummy. You heard? This is how slow niggas is. This is how slow niggas is. And they catch a poop and they got a sell charge. Because it's greedy. Because they're greedy. See, that's, they don't understand that type of shit, dummies. You know what I mean? You can't do that. You, my fiends was my family. You know what I'm saying? They fucked up. I take them out to eat. I bring them food. They got kids and all that. I'm looking for the kids. They become your family because you got to understand something. You benefit from them. They feed your kids. They take care of your kids. They send your kids to school when they do get it. That's why you got to understand that with human beings. I mean, I've seen a lot of dudes mistreat a lot of fiends. And they got lined the fuck up to the utmost because they was greedy. To the fiends, like, they went to the FBI and was like, man, get the fuck. And yeah, they lined these niggas up because you can't treat them as such, you heard. You got to understand the behavior. A lot of these dudes don't. You got a lot of dudes that do it to their own family. They got their brothers or their sisters. They fiend out and they treat them like that, not knowing that they still there. They could be, you could benefit from what they do. I mean, I mean, I mean, I may be different, man, but it's true. You can't. You got to be careful. You know, once you start burning bridges, you know, you got to be careful about the bridge being burnt back to you. Don't think about all the shit that you. You know, one thing about humans, they don't forget nothing. You got to be easy about that, bruh. Yeah, it's a fact, man. That's a fact, man. Yeah, man. I just want to touch on, you know, a few things about life. You heard? Like something different. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things going on. The coronavirus. You know, they Rayshawn Brooks, they killed him in Atlanta the other day. They hanged two people June 5th. Two black guys got hung. This is crazy. Like, you know, we know niggas ain't hanging themselves nowadays. Who the hell hanging themselves? Ain't no dudes suicidal going to hang themselves. From trees. Who going to climb up a tree? I don't know how black we is. We're not climbing up no trees to hang ourselves. No, come on, man. It seems too far-fetched. But we got. But these, these, these white people or the white government and these white presidents that got all this stuff about, you know, oh, we got two people that hung themselves within the day apart, five miles apiece, nigga. It's something going on spooky, nigga. Something spooky going on in these little towns that's scary, that's, you know, got, you know, these secret society groups, you heard? You better be prepared for things like nature, man. They should have been, they should have been walking with a burner, you know, and they walk through the park, you see a bunch of, you know, especially if you're in a white neighborhood, you walk through a park, you know what I'm saying, you see a bunch of people, white guys, all right, yeah, all right, come on, let the games begin. Let the games begin. Play because it's, it's hectic right now. You gotta be up. You gotta be on point more right now. You gotta be on your five star shit right now. You gotta start thinking collectively, thinking dangerous, staying dangerous. You gotta do that right now because time now is the time, man. They killing, they killing us. So we gotta be careful about you know all this new stuff going on. I had to do a live today and had to talk about and reiterate on certain things, different things. You know what I'm saying, you are. I had to get a laugh or two, you heard? <laughs> but these true stories and shit, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But, you know, that's what it is, man. I just wanted to reiterate on that, man. A couple of things of that nature, you heard? It's getting strange out here. It's definitely, it's definitely getting strange, man, you know? I'm going to tell you something. The more close I am to my, you know, to, to, to my hood, the more safe I feel, you heard? Because I'm going to tell you something, my hood pop, they going to pop. It's going to be, it's going to be tragic in Brownsville. You know, I'm always in Brownsville, you heard? I'm always in Brownsville. 
and them everybody got a burner. Everybody got a bees earned. But you know, you know, we ain't playing. They ain't playing. They they run that shit over here. You know, one thing I say, man, them niggas highly respect us. You know what I mean? They know. They know they got something coming if they violate. They know they're not gonna violate out there. They're not gonna violate out there. Brownsville ain't tough, man. Brownsville ain't tough. They gonna have to surround the whole perimeter. In order, and they got to have hundreds of thousands of troops to try to invade and that. There's going to be a lot of dudes dead. A lot of them dead, you heard? So I, I feel safe there, you hear me? I do. Then worry about people that you don't really know about, that you don't, you don't know who they police. You, know? you got these niggas out here helping the police now. Fuck. You got these niggas around here guarding the police, you heard? I seen one news on the story where dudes... Trap the riot crowd out because they had a police in the back of them. Yo, you can't do nothing. And they say, he say the police, you think the, you think the police would have did that to him? And y'all looking at the motherfuckers, all these black niggas, holding, holding the crowd back from them getting the police, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And the police nigga looking scared like, what the fuck? But you think he going to honor this? You think, you, you, what y'all think? You think he felt, you, you think he's going to, you know, these dudes got rewards for that? You, even if they did, they soft, you heard? I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't mind my business. That nigga said, it's all you can eat, you heard? It's all you can eat. I'm not stopping no buffets, you heard? It's all you can eat, nigga. I don't give a fuck, you heard? Fuck out of here, you heard? I'm not going to be having my arm around here talking about, you can't do that to the police. You can't do that to the police. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Sometimes a lot of innocent lives have to be laws in order for them to understand. You know, it's not just for tick for tat. Like we're gonna understand what this dude did in a uniform to us. Dude's gonna do that to a uniform to a lot of y'all. So they gotta stop doing what they're doing around the world. That's the only way it's gonna be, that's the only way it's gonna happen. It doesn't, it's not gonna cause for it. no, he didn't do nothing, but they did. They ain't trying to hear that. That black motherfucker ain't do nothing, but his brother ain't do nothing, but boom, but they still got, nah, it's not, it's not going to work that way. We got good officers here. Now, what it scares me now, a lot of the officers, African American, they, they, they quitting. We got cops out here now that's quitting their jobs. White cops, black cops, Chinese cops, you heard? They quitting their job, you heard? They quitting their job. Because they tired of it. But is it the right thing to do? Nah, man. You know, like me, you got to play political prisoner. You got to learn how to adapt with it, you know. You know, you got to learn how to adapt with it. You know, you know who's who's with you, who feel your pain when it comes to, you know, this black, white, this racist. You know, a lot of black officers know they got racist motherfuckers. Yo, yo, Charlie, come here. You told me I'll let you. Yo, what's up? <laughs> you heard? Girl, keep quiet. Fuck out of here. You know, I become a serial killer. I done became a serial killer. I was a black cop. You heard? I became a serial killer. I, mean, I ain't talking about my own. You heard? I ain't talking about my own. Not my own black people. You heard? I'm talking about I done became a serial killer. I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that smart enough and had this type of attitude. Facts. You heard? What's up? What kind of advice you need? I'm about to hang it up. I ain't gonna play with him. Well, that's a fact though. That's a fact though. Yeah, man. Well, I'm gonna read this book, man. Convicted at birth. I don't know how I'm gonna um it's a very it, I know it's gonna be a good book, man. It's a lot of things that's going on it. That's going on the um that's going on um that's um going on right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things going on right now. Stores starting to open up slowly. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff starting to be low, you know, so you gotta be more don't 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 get it twisted. You gotta remain mindful about your surroundings, you right? Stay vigilant about your surroundings. Um um you know, um, yeah. So yeah, be 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 cautious about your surroundings, man. Believe, believe me, it's the only way that you're gonna be able to survive and see much more things than you know change in in a matter uh, of of this this time. So you know, 
You know, right now I'm reading this book, Convicted at Birth. I'm going to get back at you in a couple of days after I finish reading this book. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to show, I'm going to read the back. Convicted at birth, growing up in Brooklyn, witnessing the victimization of his mother and the sisters at the hands of his father's violence was far from new to Junior. Abused and abandoned by his parents, he adopts a new family. There, Junior would become the notorious Kool-Aid, vowing with blood-stained eyes to never be victimized again. It is on these same streets he will prove to everyone that a situation doesn't have to make a person. It only reveals who they really are. Just the jewel. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. You know, I read the first couple of pages. Um, what I can say I find interesting the most is that, you know, uh, Kool-Aid, that's in this book. You know, shout out to Kool-Aid, man. And I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm, I'm on it to be introduced to him by... Um, you know, uh, the rap group, Duck Down Records, uh, you know, Steel and Tech and all them dudes, they Uncle Ruler. Ruler's a very close friend of mine. Uh, he's a very close friend of Kool-Aid. And um, he introduced me to Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying, while he was in prison. And um, and this is why I'm, I'm paying a lot of attention to this too, this, this, this book. And uh, I just recently talked to his his wife, shout out to Gigi, or shout out to his wife Gigi. But anyway, um, you know, by reading the first couple of pages of the book, you know, they talk about, you know, he witnessed victimization. I mean, he witnessed his mother get being beaten. Now, I was just talking about that. How my mother, she never went to the police about my father giving her black eyes, eggnogs, all that. She never go to the police. And she taught us from an early age that police was no good. So me learning that and having an understanding about they, them, their presence, their uniform, that they was the enemy, period. Whether we did what we did in our hood, whether we did to ourselves, you know, they were still the enemy. And this is how you, this is how, and that's fact, because this is how, this is how exactly how you become a person who you are about telling, you know, about relying on police for things or relying for anybody about anything. It's like me. I don't rely on nobody for nothing. You know what I'm saying? And as I told you about the incident that happened with me, I didn't go to the boss and tell the boss. You know, the boss said, well, you, are, you know, if you had a problem, you could have came to me. You got a problem. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I ain't got no problem with nobody. I ain't never had a problem with nobody. Well, they said that she did this to you. You know, she was wrong for doing that to you. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. These things like that, you still got to implement even on business terms. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people get under pressure and they start writing all type of, you know, uh, people about what's happening to them. You know what I mean? And, you know, these people, they, they feel as if though that you rely on them. You rely on these. I'm going to tell you, these people that feel that you, that you rely on them to do something about it. And it's like, it still gives you that type of, you know. Right antics that you know what I mean you tell on you telling on motherfuckers that you feel that you know that's dunce or threatening you or whatever the case may be. I don't understand this shit, man. But you know, that's what it is, man. I you may you you'll never see that my handwriting or me even mentioning nobody's name or anybody name about they doing things of my nature. Like that's just crazy. Like that's far fetched. You can't convince me you fucking tough. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot do that. And this is one of the things that I've learned through this that man, his mother took a lot of ass whooping her. And you know what I find interesting in the first couple of pages of his book is that his father was a boxer. I put myself in a boxing mode. I'm like, yo, like even me, like, you know, I did. I hit women before. You know what I'm saying? You got don't be a twist. You got women that are dangerous. A lot of dudes that beat on women that's not dangerous. All right, you say there's something wrong with you. Heard? Some guy be talking about, but me, I sometimes I gotta fight to the death. I know the CEO in here could kill me. She hit hard. She play hard. You heard? I don't like. I don't play with her. I don't like. 
like going back and forth with her, playing with her, none of that, because she really hurt. And she be having these big ass rings on, you know what I'm saying? And that shit be leaving scars. She left a scar, look. She left a scar right here to me the other day. See that scar? I'm playing with like, pfft. And she hit me, I try to block it, boop, hit me with that fucking ring, you heard? She drew blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting twisted. I'm getting twisted. But, you know, but I was thinking. When you know something, even me, I don't profess it. Like, I don't get into a boxing stand with my, you know what I'm saying? I don't do none of that. Like, all right. Because I know I will kill her. Now, I may be like, fuck out of here. Put her in the yoke or hold her down. You know what I'm saying? But I won't get into a boxing stand with her. Like, I'm fighting a nigga for a ring. Like, I'm about to win 100000 And one of the book, and it's beginning of the pages of this book, is what happened, was happening to his mother. You know, his mother was very, very getting abused. Like, she didn't, if he came home from work and the, the food wasn't cooked and it wasn't hot or his bath wasn't running, the bath water wasn't running, he, he was two pieces up with the box of antics, you heard? Like, <laughs> to the point to where that he went and got a, a butter knife and he intervened. And his father, his own father, took a razor blade and cut his own son. Fuck out of here. You know, ate him. He ate his own son, which is his name is Junior in here. That was crazy. Right? And I stopped right there said, I got to do a lot. I got this shit out of my head, you heard? So that was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still going to continue to read. I'm going to continue to profess. I'm going to continue to promote this too, you know what I'm saying? Um, so one thing I want to also reiterate on. I don't know what it is. Um... I was talking about this shit in the beginning, about people that, you know, uh, it, it kind of disturbs me a little bit. Why I touched on, let me tell you, why I touched on, so I'm going to tell you why I touched on something earlier, right? About, you know, someone who, you know, ratted. Oh, they didn't rat. They didn't rat. What happened was that other people ratted. And there was, you know, you know, a couple of people that was at the scene of the crime ratted, but he didn't say nothing. He said he didn't know who it was. Right? I, to me, I, to me, like I said, it still ain't good enough. Like, it still leaves a, it leaves a mitts. It, it, you can't. You got to go to court. You got to write after David and say that. No, he was the one who did not do it. You got to say that to me. You know what I'm saying? That's the, I believe in shit like that. Listen to me. I believe in shit like that. You can't. You cannot go and say that. Oh, I don't know. That's up to them. If they saw me. Now you can't do that. You can't do that. And I'm gonna tell you something else. Like I received some paperwork today, right? You know, from someone that I feel that you know, you know, some paper paperwork floating around today. I'm not saying no names, but I'm reading the paperwork, and it says that I'm reading two type of people paperwork, and one says, you know, one made a verbal statement, but when the grand jury came, boom, boom, they pled the fifth. So they relieved the Fifth Amendment, and I'm going to tell you like this. So when you relieve the Fifth Amendment from a statement that you made prior to what you said, but you no longer agreeing with what you said and you and you want to face a perjury charge because of something that you you plead the fifth on. You relied on the Fifth Amendment with you know, something like that to that extent, I think. It still leaves a shadow of doubt. And I don't like it. You know what I mean? It leaves a shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Shot 120 was good. It leaves a shadow of a doubt. So, you know, um, I'm like, and it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to eat it. It's hard for me to eat it because of the person. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like it. I'm not saying no names, but there's a lot of other shit going on. A lot of other shit going on with big homies that's, they been doing monkey shit. For years, and niggas just finding out. You know what I'm saying? They've been, you know, believe, live, 
you know, and there's a lot of these niggas look up to. You hear these niggas call these niggas name, but I'm not saying that name either. But you know, when shit hit the fan, when shit get clear, shit gonna hit the f- shit shit crazy. But you know, I, I I just I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Like, see, this is what I'm gonna tell you something. That's why I love, that's why I don't fuck with politics. You know what I mean? That's why I don't fuck with politics. But it doesn't amaze me. It doesn't to a certain extent, it don't amaze me. You know, they, they say, you know, KK, go, KK, this, this gay. Yo, you know, when the unexpected happens, only the ignorant are the surprise, right? No one's don't think it's strange. Sometimes this shit becomes strange. It's a bitch, right? It be strange as a mother effer. But I just want to leave that out there. That's all I want to do. I just want to leave that out there. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, like I said, man, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, I went back to, you know, the part, you know, to your reputation and your characteristics. Two totally different aspects, you heard, and how you perfected in your life. <clears throat> Sometimes, like I said, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your reputation doesn't go with your characteristics in Iraq. Your characteristics doesn't go with your reputation. So you got to be understanding that shit. This nigga AMR, you going you gonna to shit some Twinkies out tonight, you heard? Yeah, but you know, that's, that's just something that, you know, I, I'm always mindful of. I'm always mindful of things of that nature, but... Uh, you know, life is crazy, man. Like I said, man, you know, you know what I mean? A lot of shit going on in the world. I'm going to get ready to get off. A lot of shit going on in the world. And, um, I just want everybody to know, stay solid, man. You heard? Throughout it all. That's it, man. Stay solid. You know what I mean? Stay tuning in, man. I know I don't do lives like I used to. You know what I mean? It's not that, you know, uh, you know. I got so much other stuff that I'm doing. You know, I'm doing all the shows. I'm doing the Queens Flip joint. You know what I mean? I got the food merch coming in. I got, um, I'm helping out with a lot of other things. You know, so, so you know, don't, you know, bear with me, you know what I'm saying, on this. Bear with me on this shit. You know what I mean? Um, especially when the, the closes and stuff. I mean, like the stores and stuff starting to open back up. So that's it. But, you know, I'm working on a lot of other projects too as well. So, you know what I mean? I don't just don't rely on 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 this but i do like talk to my people to so keep coked up you heard we gotta get coked up you heard you know man, i just have to share stories about you know you know the difference between you know ratting and lying you got to keep that in mind that when you you come in, in the court of law is lying don't use that you know what i mean if you got a little shit going around here you know like you know you ain't gonna get in trouble for it yeah niggas is ratting niggas rat on me all day you heard me rat oh, all day, business, jobs, uh, YouTube, um, these niggas a rat, you heard, just to get you out the way. Niggas a rat on you just to get you out the way, you heard? That's what they do. They going through the emotions. So, you know, you got to be careful about that shit. I don't give a fuck about, you know what I mean? That's ratting. They say that's susceptible because it's not in the court of law. So, it's susceptible to them, but still ain't susceptible to me. And I don't think it's susceptible to all my cult up. That's still susceptible, you heard? But, um... Yeah, you know, that's basically what, you know, want to go through shit. Yeah, it was good. Joshua Johnson, man, me get a coat up, man. Me get up out of here, man. Y'all just, yo, man, you know, like I said, man, coronavirus still out there. People still dying. Whoever had any deaths recently, whoever sick recently, man, give them my condolences. My prayers go up to them all the way up. All right? Facts. Um, I'm telling you, man, you ever go to CPA or at this PA, man, watch out for the hills as eyes. You know what I mean? They will eat you alive. You know, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? The girls out there, you know what I'm saying? They 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 try to get you, you heard? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't believe the hype, you heard? But yeah, I'm about to get off. Yo, salute, let me get it coked up, man. Y'all niggas stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy. That's it. You heard? Salute. Coked up, coked up one time, coked up, coked up, shot 120, man, what's good with you, man? Shot 120, love you too, you heard? Coked up, coked up, straight facts, you already know, man, I'm bad. You already know, coked up, coked up. All right, man, yo, salute.